every now and then I have days where I have a date with myself and today is that day I'm gonna have a date with myself at the museum so let's go see some beautiful artwork food and whatever else I decide to get into while I'm running away from my life at the moment so Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with my date with myself, date with myself, date with myself in Houston. H Town is going down. Part two. Okay, so funny story about this tunnel. When I was younger in middle school, I was walking through this tunnel with, of course, my classmates. Well, right when you see when I'm about to turn around this corner, there's a huge illusion with this tunnel when you're actually in it the floor doesn't look like it's where it is so i had fallen off of the platform when i was younger and my best friend was there you will see her later in the video but i fell off the platform and i freaking thought that i was falling for forever i promise you i was screaming like oh my gosh and falling and everything but i wasn't that far off the floor so I completely embarrassed myself in typical Britney fashion. Funny little story. Okay, so this was an artist I am not super familiar with, but I'm very happy I learned about him. He is an Argentinian artist, which based his work on future architecture that will be in space. So if you look really closely, you can see the tiny little people. So I totally felt that these were all pieces of artworks that might be places in space sometime soon. So it was an honor just learning about this artist and exploring his beautiful collection. With how each artwork was installed, you really get the feeling as if you're peering into their lives of these outerworldly homes in space. Next up, I paid a visit to Yayoi Kasama's artwork, Aftermath of Obliteration of Eternity. Every time I've been in one of her installations, it is truly breathtaking. The minute goes by way too fast, but I'm always honored that I have an opportunity to see her artworks and feel at peace within the installation. Anyone remember that room we were in earlier? Yeah, this is the artwork of James Terrell. He's one of the few artists that is part of the light and space art movement. I was really uncomfortable in this room. I didn't really last too long, I guess because it was so dark with mainly the light and color as the main focal point. So I kind of had to run out and abandon everything. But Houston does have a lot of James Terrell artwork. So when you come down, come and see them. So of course I made a stop at the gift shop and I was severely disappointed with this purchase. It is a writing pad and not a mini sculpture like I thought it was. If anyone has seen a Brillo sculpture from Andy Warhol, please let me know because I am looking for one at this point because I am mad about those writing pads. Okay, so we are in another light tunnel. This one is made from Carlos Cruz Diaz. If you're not familiar with the Houston Fine Arts Museum, this is a new addition that they've added with the new building, which we've been in, basically. It's nothing like walking through a light tunnel. I always find it really comforting when I'm not falling off of platforms and screaming for my freaking life. I do love that these tunnels that they have for each of the buildings actually connect them all together underneath the city. Okay, I end up foregoing the museum for food. One thing that's a fact about me, I always get lost. I got lost twice coming to meet my best friend. Okay, let's see how the food's gonna be. I got lost twice. Say hi to the people of the vlog. Hi, people of the vlog. Say hi. 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 I got the burger from Barnaby's. If you haven't had it, this burger had a smoked flavor to it. It was absolutely delicious. And Blair's food was really good too. 
I forced her to give me some of hers in typical best friend fashion. Good morning, everybody. I thought I would continue the vlog into today. It is the next day. So I thought I would just go ahead and do that because yesterday's vlog was a little bit short, but to be expected because it wasn't planned either. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue the video on because I do have some things I have to do around the studio today, which includes some organizing. So let's go ahead and get started with that. But first, breakfast. If you haven't had Starbucks egg whites, you should definitely try them. These have bacon in them and it's definitely a light breakfast. Okay, something happened again. My husband decided he wanted to go eat, so that's the plan. I'll show you the food. Isn't it total husband fashion that when you are about to start a project, they come in and they're like, Hey babe, I'm hungry, I want something to eat. So you gotta stop what you're doing and go ahead and get some food together. But look, hey, we got appetizers. What you just saw was some stuffed shrimp and we also have stuffed mushrooms. Those were so delicious, but you know with salt grass you get so much food so you really only get a bit of everything. Here's my Caesar salad and I even decided to do the surf and turf and got the steak with the shrimp and the stuffed loaded potato. Of course I still have it in my refrigerator but I will get to it later in the week. Okay, I'm back to being responsible again. So I'm back in the studio. So let's continue on to seeing how things will go with me building this shelf right here. So I'm gonna try to do an overhead video so you can see how it will look. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I just looked at the shelf and it's constructed differently than I thought. So I have to actually install this normally just into the shelf how it is with the bracket. So. I'm gonna fast forward the video so you can guys can just see me working on it. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and just work my magic like I'm Flash. So let's see how it goes. So this is the shelf that I purchased from Target. I will put it down below because it is still available for purchase. So with how I did this at first, I thought I wanted everything closer in, but I realized I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to maximize my space and stack the boxes. So I brought everything from the top shelf down and voila, this is what it looks like now. Okay, so the shelf is completed. So I'll show you up close what it looks like since I'm not running around like I'm flash anymore. So are you ready to see it? Cause I'm gonna show you whether you like to or not, you're gonna see it. Okay, so here is the new shelf edition. It does look a little bit cluttered down here, but that's something I'm gonna get to later. That's for a future project that I'm gonna be working on with my new paintings. So these are some of my other art supplies that I have, like some more of the resin and whatnot and molding paste, but I will get through that eventually. But for now it looks pretty good. I'm gonna realize something else to do with some of this stuff here so it doesn't look as cluttered, but I basically have everything I need for the holidays. So this is a shelf that is from Target and of course the canvas shelf. I think I did just do a little short on it showing that I built that on my own. So if you wanna know any of the tips or anything like that, I can go ahead and do that for you guys later. But this is what it looks like now. So it's a little bit more organized than it was. So now we have to go get some coffee because I need it. Good, good. This one is a longer video, so I can have time to talk to you guys. Yes, I sometimes do accents. You got a problem with it? So sorry, you're gonna hear it unless you click off. I hope you don't. Please don't. Please don't click off. Anyway, my favorite type of coffee that I love to make is a latte. More in particular, an iced latte. I am not a fan of hot coffee just because it takes me a while to actually drink it. And then by the time I get to it, it tastes nasty. Like I don't, I don't, I don't want to have it by that time. Uh, nah, 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 nah. So I, I don't really do hot coffees, but like I said, I love the iced coffees. So how I make my coffee is I begin by of course, having the coffee already ready. And I just pour it over ice, 
typically I normally don't do that but however because I didn't have time for it to sit and wait and I really want a coffee right away I just put it over some ice I know I'll put a little bit of water in it but it, it is what it is at this point I really don't care at, at all not at all no 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 so we're just gonna shake 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 it up and then we're gonna just pour it in our cup this is one of my favorite cups. I actually purchased this cup from Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you would like a link to that, I can definitely do that for you guys if you want to get the same cup. So we're just going to toss that to the side. You know, in another life, I always wondered what it would have been like to be a barista in the beginning before I started college. My memory is not 100% the best though, so I might forget how to make some people's drinks, but it was something I did think about because a lot of people seem to enjoy working at Starbucks. So I always wondered what it would be like if I worked there for just a split second in my life. But I have had pretty good career choices thus far. So my first job was starting off with Hellsberg Diamonds and I continued on in the jewelry industry for a while before I switched to being a display coordinator for anthropology. So I'm doing a lot of art as you can see right now. I do it personally in my home life and I do do it for work. As you can see, I'm frothing a little bit of oat milk. Oat milk has been a new addition to my coffee. I feel that it gives it mm, mm, a creamier taste to it. This one doesn't have any flavoring, but the one I do like more so is with vanilla in it. But I refuse to buy it before I finish the plain oat milk. Next, we're just gonna add a few ice cubes into our coffee. I probably added a little bit more than I normally would, but it is what it is like we've said before. So we're just gonna get that oat milk that we frothed and add it to the top. Mmm, looks so yummy. But I'm gonna have to go ahead and take a sip off camera because like I said, I added a little too much because of watering down my coffee earlier. But it's all good, it's all good. I'm just gonna take my sips and add it down and add in the rest of the oat milk. And boom problem solved and we didn't waste the coffee that we added in that was too much okay so the day is almost over and i did everything that i wanted to get done for today in the studio let me know if you guys have anything you would like to see in the future videos that i might have i hope you enjoyed my weekend vlog i do plan on doing a little bit more of a purge later coming up so let me know if that's something you guys would want to see later on in the future comment below if that's something you'd be interested in i'm going to do that as well as finish this delicious cup of coffee cheers i hope to see you guys soon thanks for watching